If we had to choose one Kardashian member to stick up for us in a fight, it would definitely be Chloe. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down the top 10 savage Chloe moments from Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at times from the hit reality show where Chloe shades, burns, rips, and destroys members of her family for our viewing pleasure. Thanks, Chloe. Number 10. Straight to the Bottom After rubbing Chloe the wrong way, Kim walks away laughing about how easy it is to get under her younger sister's skin. You piss me off because you never believe me. Chloe certainly doesn't take Kim's words kindly and immediately decides to get revenge, knowing her sister's biggest weakness. Chloe plans to tell her how fat her ass is in the hope of ruining Kim's day. Did you see that I flinched one time? <laughs> you did. You're lying again! You totally flinched! Sure, it might not be the world's most intricate or noble revenge plot, but it is definitely diabolical. We're already picturing poor Kim's ugly cry face as Chloe stalks off to follow through. You're so easy to piss off. You're so easy to make insecure. Wait till I tell you about your fat ass in a second. Number 9. Attitude and Apologies The Kardashian sisters are known to get into some pretty heated arguments. While Chloe is known to be the most honest sister of the clan, it's pretty evident that she gets riled up easily when angered. You're the last person that most people want to tee off on because your word vomit is crazy. After getting into an argument with Kim and calling her disloyal, Chloe decides to try a meditation app to help calm her before calling Kim to apologize. I'm fully in control of my emotions. <laughs> I am firm. I am yet firm. Calm. Oh, I am firm yet calm. Unfortunately, the conversation doesn't go exactly as planned. It's just crazy how you just snap. And it's just not even valid. It just called me back when you feel like being a nice, decent human being instead of being a f***ing all the time. <laughs> and Chloe decides to finish the conversation by talking to herself. You're really testing my limits talking to me this way and hanging up in my face, but I would rather talk to myself than talk to you. <sighs> okay, it's okay. Don't, don't trip, Chloe. After her anger management class so many years ago, we're glad to see Chloe process her emotions better. I'm just really sorry for my short temper with you, and I'm working on it, and I'm trying to better myself and just... You know, I shouldn't react that way, so I love you and I'm sorry. I love you too, and I'm sorry if I've doubted you. Number 8. TV Award If you're a fan of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, you know that Courtney is all about eco-friendly, organic, green living, and apparently doesn't watch TV either. Obviously, I am the healthiest eater in the Kardashian-Jenner clan. Kim and Chloe like to give me a hard time about it, but they're so behind on like information, they just find it funny. While talking to Chloe, Courtney makes a throwaway comment about how she doesn't watch TV anymore. In true Chloe fashion, she cheekily calls out Courtney for having a holier-than-thou attitude and asks her if she wants an award for not watching TV. We can always count on Chloe for speaking her mind. You gotta watch this. It was so good. Going through Kim's whole style evolution, it was yeah, really... Yeah, no they were doing that. It was I really cute. I don't watch TV. Like, no one cares. You don't get an award because you watch less TV. I do, because I'm winning in life. Number 7. Al Capone So this is Alcatraz. Wow. And this is Broadway. Let me court your hand. Court, stop being a bitch. I hate you both. During a private tour of Alcatraz, Chloe can't help but take a shot at Courtney as her sister photographs Al Capone's former cell, since she's pretty sure Courtney doesn't even know who that is. And then 181, this cell right here, that is Al Capone's cell. Oh wow. That's where Al Capone lived on Alcatraz. Courtney really doesn't like being patronized and shoots back that she knows who Al Capone is thanks to the movie Scarface. It's a cringe moment for Chloe since the famous Al Pacino remake isn't about Al Capone. Do you know who Al Capone is? Yeah, I do. Guess what? I've seen Scarface. But Courtney is actually kind of right, since the 1932 version of Scarface was indeed based on the notorious gangster. The question is, did Courtney actually know that? Hey, that's well, look at this little, you can carry it. Come on, let's get out of here. Number 6. Two Cakes to the Face when Kim and Chloe find out that their mother has been taking advantage of them, they decide to reward Chris with a beautiful cake. Is that cake? Mm hmm. Hold on, it's coming. We wanted to truly thank you. For what? 
for just being you. Wait, that doesn't sound like something the Kardashian sisters would do. All right, a beautiful cake to the face. Huh? What? <laughs> Now that's something Kim and Chloe would do. Not stopping there, Chloe throws a second cake at her mother for good measure. Buy your self a Hanson's cake. You don't even deserve this one. What? Chloe? Chris isn't impressed, but the girls couldn't care less because they're busy eating floor cake. Ultimately, despite Chris being upset, it's a pretty funny family moment. You guys are both grounded. You're a scam artist. And we are satisfied. Number five, douche lord. Did you know that Chloe once had to attend anger management classes? Don't Ow. touch her! Oh, what? No. Are you kidding me, Chloe? Well, obviously, just look at the examples on this list. How could she not have to attend anger management classes at least once in her life? You physically attacked me. Until you do something, I don't need you around me or around her. He's brainwashing. She's me. not brainwashed. You are disgusting and you're going way too overboard. I have to go. <laughs> if you you're hit somebody else that wasn't me, this. you could get sued. God, shut up. Shut up. Why don't you get mad again? Go hitting somebody. Anyway, once there, she directs her anger at Scott Disick, who she strongly disapproves of. Chloe doesn't hold back, explaining without apologies that she slapped him because he's a douche lord. This is an anger management class. What brings you to the class? Um, because I got into a fight with my sister's boyfriend. Tell me about this fight. What's going on? He's a douche lord, and I hit him. Chloe may have gone to the anger management class for her family, but she walked away with a whole new perspective and learned some coping mechanisms when it comes to her anger. During this class, I'm realizing that, you know, my anger that I have for Scott is not really about him. It's about the fact that I feel like I'm losing Courtney and that I feel like she's being taken away from me. Number four, Wi-Fi rage. We all know the rage that comes deep within when we're unable to send a Snapchat because the Wi-Fi signal is weak. No? Well, perhaps we don't all know what it feels like, but Khloe Kardashian sure does as she turns on her sister Courtney for having a weak signal outside of her house on the basketball court. You have this big ass house and you can't afford a Wi-Fi box out here? After an emphatic F-bomb, Chloe explains to her sister that the potential radiation from Wi-Fi boxes is nothing compared to the horror of forever losing a Snapchat that surely would have caused her friends to LOL. It's not about affording, it's about radiation. You're gonna die anyway, you understand that, right? Die with a good Snapchat going through. What the f Number 3. Impersonating Kim Chloe is pretty good at impersonations or at least mercilessly savage at them. Hey guys, so we're gonna go to dinner now. As Kim reflects on who she was 10 years ago and how her voice has changed, Chloe shuts her down hard, insisting that her voice was way dumber than that in reality and providing her own impersonation. Kim's expression is half laughter, half how dare you, while Chloe takes the spotlight from her sister once again with her quick wit and vicious tongue. Something tells us the behind-the-scenes footage from this interview would have been interesting. I feel like I'm such a different person. Like, my voice was so much different. And I was like, this is Kim. No way. Dumber. You're like, I'm so excited. We're doing the Hollywood Reporter. My sisters are not on the cover. It's just me. I but they have not. a little, like, side thing in the back. Number two, how many licks? While this burn is delivered through rhyme and song, it's no less savage considering we know just how much Chloe loves to pick on her mother. Yep. Mom, what? <laughs> Reel it in. Seriously. Literally, it must be her favorite thing to do, and she's basically made a career out of it. My mom is really nuts. I don't think you're supposed to operate vehicles or heavy machinery once you are heavily intoxicated, and this bitch just decides to get on a jet ski with her prized possession on the back, Kim. As one of her stylists begins singing the Tootsie Pop tagline of how many licks, Chloe substitutes the last line to get in a dig at her mother. Now, while we'd rather not know the answer to this question, we can't help but laugh, especially while watching at the reaction on Kris Jenner's face. How many people does it take to get you... A village, honey. An entire how many people does it mediocre take to get village. <laughs> how many licks does it take? <laughs> to get to the center of Miss Jenner. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You need to get your wet that badly, then get your wet. I had a baby blue shirt on. Get your wet, and there you go. Oh. Hey, shut up. Come here for a second. Let me smack you across the face. You guys are so 
dysfunctional, and I don't know if this is like something you guys do as foreplay, dumb, but this is nuts. Say anything. Kim doesn't give a f because people control her because she's a weak duck. Courtney and I are strong queens, and we don't deal with the princess. Hey, what's up? When you hurt Courtney, you hurt me. If you do it twice, I will cut your balls off. Number one, sex ad burn. Good old Kris Jenner is back in Chloe's crosshairs once again, and honestly, we wouldn't want it any other way. Kylie, I need, a, I need Probably help. Probably took this in your sleep. No. Kylie, my pill for the day is gone, and I don't know what to do. Have you had sex today? Mom, shut up. We know the two love each other, but their on-screen dynamic is the stuff of legend and keeps us tuning in week after week. This burn involves a young Kylie Jenner explaining some sex ed facts to Chris, who reacts in shock, asking where she learned the information. Are you telling me that if you don't have sex, you can still get pregnant? Yes, because sperm lives inside the vagina for three days. Who taught you this Chloe blasts Chris for not being proud of Kylie for being well-informed, seeing as how, at least according to Chloe, her mother must have failed the course. She went to school and you should be happy your daughter has an education, especially sex ed. You obviously didn't, that's why you have multiple baby daddies and thousands of children. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.